who, are, who can only serve Krishna. A wonderful verse from Bhagavad Gita. And Sri Bhakti Raksha Sridhar Goswami Maharaj commenting on this. Beautiful. His commentary is always goes to Madhuravas. A verse from Bhagavad Gita. Aham sarvasya pravaham matta sarvam pravartate itti matta vajante vaham buddha bhaak samam I am the lord of everyone. In everything emanates from me. Krishna claims this. And Vishnu Chakra Thakur explains that he puts his index finger, index finger and he touches on his chest and boldly claims this. I am the Lord of everyone. Everything emanates from me. A similar verse is in Shrikad Bhagavatam, the Chatur Shloki Bhagavatam. Krishna imparts the knowledge in the heart of Brahma. Aham, Aham means me. Aham, Evasam, Evadre. Nafne, Sat, Asat, Saparam. Pashtat, Aham, Yo, Pashtati, So, Asmi, Aham. Three times. I, I, I was there before creation, in creation, and I'll be there after creation. There's no time when I'm not present. I'm always present, every time. So in this shloka, Bhagavad Gita, which of course it looks like the, uh, Krishna is expressing his opulence. Okay. And it's true, I am the Lord of everyone, everything emanates from me. Mashra Bhakti Raksha Sridhar Goswami Maharaj explains, when Krishna says everything emanates from me, he wants to say, my service also emanates from me. And I am the only one who can serve myself. No one else can serve me. Because my form is Satchidananda Prabhu. Transcendental. Sir Tande Prabhu, <coughs> manifestation of Krishna, serves Krishna in so many ways. Even in the creation, Krishna desires creation and Tande Prabhu serve him. And assisting in the pastimes of Krishna. So actually Tande Prabhu and all the associates in Gola Vrindavan, who are those? They are all manifestations from Bande Prabhu. Das say Sakya Vat Sande. But Madhuras, Radharani, serving Krishna in conjugal love. And who are the gopis? The manifestation of Radharani. In Brahma Samhita, Brahma is saying this. Ananda Chinmaya Ras Pratibhavi Tavi Tavi Nija Rupa Deva Eva Kalavi Golok Eva Nivasutim Akhil Atma Bhuto Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bhajami And who is serving Krishna the most? Radha Chitana Chitamit Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami is writing there is a word called Tanti. Devi Krishna Mai Prokta Radhika Paradevta Sarva Lakshmi Mai Sarva Kanti Samoni Para. So, Kanti means splendor. <coughs> but another meaning of Kanti is Kanti Shabde Krishna Sakal Vanchavai. The word Kanti means all desires of Krishna. Krishna Sakal Vancha Radhika Rai. And all desires of Krishna can only be fulfilled by Radharani. Radhika kare Krishna sakal vancha pura. Only Radharani fulfill all the desires of Krishna. Okay. So how Shiva Maharaj, Shiva Bhakti Raksha Shiva Maharaj describing when Krishna is saying, my service emanates from me and I am the one who can serve myself. That means Valde Prabhu and Radharani. And who is she? Guru. Manifestation of Valde Prabhu. And Guru Rupam Paramsaki. Manifestation of Sri Radharani. And who is serving Krishna? Guru Devi serving Krishna. Even Pujari. When Pujari do Archan or do Arti. Pujari is not the one who is doing Archan. Pujari 
remembers his Gurudev <coughs> because he is the one who do Arshad. And as being servant of my Guru, I am taking over this service from him to assist him in the Arshad of Krishna. That's the mood a Pujari keeps. Not only Pujari, I all Sevakas. I am a servant of my Guru. I am representing my Guru. It's a very strong statement. And we are failure in that. I am speaking on myself, please. Don't take any offense. To represent one's Guru means how much high standard we have to maintain. We are known. If I ask you, what is your identity? You say, I am so and so das. Krishna das. Garada das. Oh. May I know your Gurudev? Oh. What is the name of your father? You know this question? <laughs> <laughs> when Love and Kush, they came in the assembly of Ram, Sri Ram, Ask them, boys, who is your father? And Lavakush smiled, sarcastic, smiled. So that's not appropriate to ask from Brahmachari. You ask Brahmachari who is your father? No. You ask who is your guru? And Sri Ram was surprised. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <coughs> Gurudev nature was also like this. He used to raise question, but if you say very humbly, Oh Gurudev, how can I tell you? You know better. He was not fond of that answer. He wanted you to hear something. Hmm. Even if it is wrong, he is going to correct. But say, no, how can I know? You know better. Yes, he was not very fond of this. So sometimes hearing answer from disciples, Gurudev was very pleased. Yes. Yes, I heard this long time back. You remind me this. You remind me of this. We have to understand. Sometimes statements of Acharyas, <clears throat> they contradict. Oh, one once, 10 years back, he said something else, and after 10 years, he said something else. <coughs> Why is this so? The confusion comes, when confusion is always fusion. The confusion comes when we start thinking, oh, he's like us. He's more knowledgeable, he's more renouncing than me, but he's also human being. But it's so important to know <clears throat> Shri Guru whose position that he is not from this material world. He descends from spiritual world. First of all, we have to infuse in our head. And there is no mistake in spiritual world. Krishna cannot do any mistake there. His devotees, associates cannot do mistake, we do mistake because we are human beings. Shri Guru is, Guru Dev cannot do any mistake. But then why he said something like that? Because sometimes he is in Antran Dasha and sometimes in Mahit Dasha. Sometimes he is in external consciousness, sometimes in internal consciousness. And that's why. And it's so difficult to judge. To understand this, when he is in internal consciousness and where his absorption is, what is thinking, where is his mood is, even though it looks like he is speaking to us, what is absorption is somewhere else. And that's why Tatrati Daksha Ati Vallabhasya Vande Guru Shri Charanarana. That's why he is very expert. Appears like from external sadhaka form, even though it's perfect. He is speaking something, but we can't understand where his absorption is. And Srila Bhaktivedanta Vamagosai Maharaj expressed this. 
he used to, when we used to go Namdi Pai Kama, after Mangal Arati, we used to go and pay obeisance to Shila Gurudev and Shila Mama Goswami Maharaj. But his doors were always locked, but windows were open. And all devotees, thousands of pilgrimage in Namdi Pai Kama, thousands. In those days, 14,000, 15,000. And all the circles of, most of the circles of Srila Bhakti Ranan Bhavan Goswami Maharaj, seeing him sleeping after Mangal Arati. He is not even coming from the You see? And same in the evening. Because there's a custom after Arti. That's how we train up in staying in mud, mud life. After Arti, go and pay obeisance to all the seniors. And of course, your Gurudev is present in the mud. So after Arti also, Brahmacharis, Dharastas, Sanyasis, everyone paying obeisance, going. The other senses that we see from through window, Shavam goes in my city. Morning at the evening at the city. Then the Sevaka told Guru Maharaj, it's Parikrama time. If you sleep some other time, that's fine. But what impression you give to disciples? We are thinking about Guru Maharaj is sleeping to Mangal Nati and also for eating Nati. That is sleep so bad. So can you kindly maintain that? And you can sleep some other time, but not in this time when they come for big obsessions. Srila Gopavan Goswami Maharaj is so introvert in nature and very grave. It's not happy. He just smiled and he spoke one sentence in Bengali. And that was the answer. And the meaning of that verse is, what can I do? My Swamini means my Radha, my Radha Rani giving so much service. Amhati is what I do. That was the only answer. That means don't bother me. I'm helpless. I can't do anything. Radha, in his, in that Antranga Dasha, internal absorption, he is getting some instructions and he is assisting Radharani in Sarvani. And externally appears like he is sleeping. So what is the point of Seva? Seva, he is doing his part. He is just trying to save people from committing offense. <laughs> but Guru Maharaj, his Guru Dev, means Shri Ramana Goswami Maharaj said, what can I do? It's not in my hands. So sometimes, Srila Gurudev, while chanting, <coughs> while reading, we saw in his room. That's the nature of Acharyas, that's the nature of Sadhu. This is the verse from Bhagavatam, first canto, <coughs> when she narrated, instructing to Srila Vedavyas. Tadvag sargo janto viplo yasmi prati shlokam vad atom api yasho angintani yashananti gayanti granantu sadhva. We see Srila Prabhupada, Srila Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada, he wrote this in, the, uh, in many uh, books, Shrimad Bhagavatam, the first page, you will see this verse. That means, <coughs> Naraj is Narada is giving uh, instruction to Vedas. Any composition, any book formation, any poetry, no matter, not uh, not good in shape, not beautifully designed, not ornamental language, but every shloka or every line, every word is in glorification of Krishna. Mm. Is praised by those who are sadhu in nature. Prior to this, he uttered something else. Naraji said, Na yadvas chitpadam hare yasho jagat pavitram parigarant karchit tad vasu tirth mushanti manasa 
And this katha, so expert, that's, that's, that's how I got attracted to hear from him. When I was very young, like in school, <clears throat> when I heard Shila Guru, the first time hearing a sadhu from Gaudiyamat, I used to hear from the small sannyasis. But how in one lecture, he's, he's mixing Samanda, Abhide and Priyajan together. What is Samanda, what is Abhide and Priyajan? And that's the first time I heard anyone, a Gaudiyamat Sadhu speaking like this. I was so attracted, wow, wonderful Kata. So much encouragement. And next day I start chanting more, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> that's the result of seeing a sadhu. If seeing a sadhu, if you have no desire to chant or progress in bhakti, then that seeing, that darshan is no value. The result of seeing a sadhu is this encouragement in the heart, repentance in the heart, what I am doing. There's a first symptom of bhakti. How we come to know bhakti is knocking my heart and sitting in my heart. Bhakti Maharani. The very first symptom is repentance. If there is no repentance, bhakti is little down. Repentance makes the heart soften. And then seeing the sadhu and hear from him is inspiration and encouragement of oh, what I am doing. How I'm wasting my day and night. Just earning money for my family, that's all. Nidra Hanayate Napatam Vyavne Chava Vaya Diva Charthi Shu Rajan Kutum Bhardeva. This is Shri Gurudev's statement about Param Gurudev. Shri Gurudev used to say, My Guru Maharaj was, was not touching many shlokas. He only used to utter one or two shloka, that's all. But Soma Siddhanta, while describing or expanding those verses, Srila Gurudev said in Kartik, this verse from Bhagavatam, Nidra Hanayate Naktam. How people they waste their night only sleeping. Vayavne Chakravaya. And they spend all day in just learning. Money for the family, they are family centered, they are not Krishna centered, they are family conscious, they are not Krishna conscious, and in this way, they are wasting their life. <clears throat> so, the benefit, or we can say, the result of seeing a sadhu like Srila Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada, and all Acharyas, they are always encouragement in the heart. I want to follow the standard what he's saying. I want to follow the standard what he's expressing. And then, when there's a greed in this heart, this is called association. Association means adoption of someone's lifestyle in us. Someone's lifestyle in our lifestyle. That's the meaning of sadhu. Sadhu is the, not there to play soccer. <laughs> Sadhu is there to always encourage us <clears throat> in that absorption where he is always absorbed in. You know? And that's why he is controlled by, I would say, controlled by a very special potency of the Lord, the compassionate potency, Karuna Shakti, by which he gets controlled. And even though he is associate of Radharani and associate of Krishna and Mahaprabhu, any descent from the spiritual world where there is no suffering, those the associates there they don't even know what is the definition of what called suffering. They don't even know that. Because the, every moment they stay in that blissful moment along with Radha and Krishna. They don't even know what is suffering. So if they are always absorbed in that mode, 
of all this bliss, then how are they going to how are they going to deliver us? And that's why par dukhe dukhi. This mood, this nature of can't see the suffering of others. Invited by that mood, <coughs> they travel, they come to us and encourage us that Jesus, give up your bad habits and make your human life the most successful life. <coughs> the most successful life. Srila Gurudev, so much when he's just hearing that some devotees are waiting for Harikatha, Buddha used to run and speak Harikatha. I'm speaking about prior to 96, or I say 92, when there was not so many devotees around, the Western world was not so much familiar about Shri In Mathura, Gurudev used to do four house programs in one day. Four house programs. It means a lot. And the speciality of our Gurudev was he always wanted his disciples, all his Shiksha disciples, his disciples of Akira Maman Gusai Maharaj, and his God brothers also to taste this mode of speaking Harikatha. Speaking Harikatha is a wonderful service to Krishna. Because if I am a listener, my mind can, dwell, can go other directions. But when I am speaking, my mind can go where go. Otherwise, what am I going to speak? <laughs> speaking Harikatha is like absorption in Krishna. Absorption. Without absorption, you can't speak. Yeah. But if I'm an audience, if I'm a listener, my mind can say, okay, what's time now? They're going to be Pashtar, then I go to sleep, and many other things. But while speaking, my mind can go here and there. <clears throat> so Srila Gurudev always encouraged that speciality of Gurudev. Believe me, <clears throat> I <clears throat> So many acharyas, and I'm not offending those acharyas. Every acharya has their own speciality, their own absorption, their own mood. But nothing like Shri Guru. Nothing like him. So while saying this, please don't take otherwise that I'm minimizing someone. That's not the point. In Shastras also there is comparison. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada also used to do comparisons. But those comparisons is not to minimize someone, but to highlight the quality of the child. Which is in a broad sense. I got initiated from my Guru Maharaj. And many of his godfathers used to come and visit him. So I have seen many acharyas. Means disciples of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. And then Srila Gurudev and many other Gaudiyamata Acharyas. <clears throat> but no one is like Srila Gurudev. No one. That's my, my personal opinion. You may have your own opinion. He was having such broad heart. He wants to make everyone speaker. <clears throat> A father always wants a son to become like him. <laughs> to hold his legacy. To hold his wealth, everything. <clears throat> Shri Gurudev, who is, I said, talkative. <laughs> in general work, which is not appropriate to describe for such a big acharya, but just to explain this. Means one who is always speaking about Krishna. He wants everyone to also speak about means Harikatha. <clears throat> so just one past time, in Mathura, while doing four house programs a day, 
in one of the house program, he asked one of his godfather, this tall figure, the kind of his name, very tall figure and very uh, strong personality, physically. Shri Bindu said, hey, speak Samari Gata. <clears throat> and he's like, oh no, I don't know how to speak, I don't know what to speak, I never spoke. Guru then said, what? All these young ones can speak. And you, my godmother, can't you speak? Can't you speak? What you heard from Guru Maharaj? And in front of everyone. Imagine. All local Mathura Vasi is sitting. And Guru is not considering any time and place and circumstance. He just smash. In front of everyone. What you learn from Guru Maharaj? In so many years, you can't speak. And, and Guru's mood was calm. And then he gave to someone else to speak. And then last Guru Maharaj, Guru Dev spoke Hari Katha and he said, you know, you have to prasad and I'm going. So Guru Dev left and devotees they continued singing. <coughs> After Mahaprasad, all Brahmacharya is walking, coming to Shri Kesha Vyukadema. So this God worth of Srila Gurudev, he is speaking to some of his friends, Brahmachari friends. Because his God brother Gurudev, so he is addressing him as Narayan Maharaj. He said, Narayan Maharaj, he has no sense. In front of everyone, he, he made me let down in front of everyone. That's not the etiquette. <coughs> He can chastise me, he can slap me. <clears throat> in his room, he could have called me in his room and chastised me. But in front of everyone, that's not the etiquette. There's no sense what to speak, where to speak. And then he was just, just end this sentence. You know what happened? There was a bull who hit this Ramachan right in his stomach. Wow. You know, in India, cows and bulls, they're all sitting at home. In Mathura, all those, in the streets, and the bull just came and hit him hard. And the Brahmacharis took him to hospital. For treatment, very hard on his stomach. When Srila Gurudev heard this, he immediately he came down. And on his rickshaw, he came to hospital to see him. And with so much affection, loving, loving affection, is petting him. How are you feeling? Pain? And it's like crying. Maharaj, please forgive me. Maharaj, please forgive me. Say, what happened? No, I criticize you. You're doing for my benefit. You asked me to speak Harigatha for my benefit. To encourage me. And I spoke so bad words for you. And I got, immediately I got punished with that. The reactions, immediately. Ah, and Gurudev's heart was so soft, immediately tears came from his eyes. And so loving, he's just petting. Oh, no, 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 I don't take anyone offense, don't worry. I was just giving you encouragement, that's all. You have to learn. Don't worry, no offense. And Gurudev is wiping his tears. And he started crying more. <laughs> <laughs> that I was criticizing him, speaking bad about him, and how caring and how loving he is. <clears throat> so he got recovered after some days and then he started <coughs> obeying the order of Srila Gurudev. This is how Gurudev was uh, nourishing his own brothers like his own, like his own children. Gurudev used to say, they are not my god brothers. They are like my own children. And my Guru Maharaj, a sign. Guru Maharaj, Ms. Bhakti Pradyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj. The whole society, Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti on three shoulders. 
श्री भक्तिगण बाबू गोसाई महाराज बट ही वॉज वेरी क्वाइट इंटो वर्ड वेरी ब्रेक सोसाइटी टू मी टू अस and we have to take care of all devotees with that mood like a mother not like i am guru i am acharya and you all are my sevakas no gurudev was so humble down to earth i you know he gets so much friendly but if gurudev become friendly to us doesn't mean we also have to be very friendly we have to he was very fond of hearing a very friendly answer but that friendly answer has to be with some respect not out you know out of respect i saw many times he is raising questions when we are in the room serving him he is reading something and all of a sudden he asks a question or what he spoke yesterday he asked oh what you have heard can you answer this question and if we say oh how i know it's not happening that he wants to hear answer and he used to joke very friendly so once upon a time i did said this to gurudev after massage and he was taking prasad i was sitting next to him i said said gurudev we to sit in a vyasasan I mean, you speak Hari Katha, totally different profile. But when you are in room, you're totally different. Guru Maharaj said, Guru Dev said, no, I'm one. <laughs> I'm same. He said, but the role you play there is totally like a acharya or something. And here in room, you're so different. Guru Dev said, no, I'm one. I'm always one. So I realized my mistake. I said, "I know. <laughs> this is my mistake." But I'm telling you honestly, in his room, could they used to do his own things, carry on? You know, his punch patra, his ashman cup, and things like that. So down to earth and simple, humble. <clears throat> so this is how with such soft heart and very broad vision soft heart and broad vision he wanted everyone to contribute something in the mission of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that's the vision and that was the mode of shri guru and that's the mode of all acharya section बिकॉज ब्रह्मांड तारित्य शक्ति थोड़े जाने जाने ईच एंड एवरी पर्सनैलिटी कैन डिलीवर द होल यूनिवर्स बट दिंक बट दे गिव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड पास ऑन दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द सर्वेंट्स टू द डिसाइपल्स टू द डिवोटिस इन जनरल अदरवाइज दे अलोन कैन डू so we don't have to become confused or bewildered when he says oh without you i cannot i could have not done this without you i could have not accomplished preaching or publication or this and that he alone can deliver the whole universe but always they pass on this service to others that's their generous nature 
have come to this point. This uh, Siddhanta. Yeah. There is a verse by Jeev Goswami. <clears throat> Many times I have spoken by your best too. What is the meaning of Anukampa? Anukampa means compassion. So Jeev Goswami Pad, he defines this. Anukampa Chapurnas means Swasmi Sevadikasha Sampadaka Seva Kadeshu Sevya Sobhagya Sampadaka Bhagavat Artamai Tad Ukkar Icha. That's the definition of the word compassion in Sanskrit. The meaning is when personality who is complete express incompleteness, that's his compassion. Understand? In short, anyone who is complete but is showing incompleteness, that is his compassion. Even though this sentence, this word applies to Krishna, Ram, but this also applies to his associates, Sri Gurudev. What is that which Ram cannot do? Do he need any assistance to make a bridge to the ocean? One who can come from Saket to here <laughs> with his associates one who can come from Saket to here, can't he just cross a few mile bridge, the uh, ocean, go to Lanka? But what is showing? Incompleteness. That personality who is complete, expressing incompleteness. This is the compassion. For his Sevakas. If Ram would have said, Oh, what is the problem? We can just cross ocean. <laughs> Then how the sevakas can get the opportunity to serve him? So there are four or five points here. Anukampa cha purna screen. One who is complete, purna, as Ishopanisha say, Om Purna Midam. One who is complete, expressing incompleteness. That's the first point. And he feel no hesitation expressing incompleteness because he know. I am I'm showing incompleteness for my sevakas. For why? For what reason? Second point. By showing incompleteness, he is expanding his services. By extension of his services, he is giving opportunity for the sevakas servants to serve him. And by giving the opportunity for the sevakas to serve him, they extract bliss and by seeing bliss in them, they get ananda, they get bliss. Understand? That's the cycle. How beautifully Jeeva Goswami expressed that in this. That's the compassion. Sri Ram, let's say example Ram, Oh, I cannot cross this ocean. Please help me. Sugriv help me, Hanuman help me, Vivishan help me, Monkeys help me. So what is showing? Incompleteness. And who is that? Not the person who is incomplete. The person who is complete and who is supreme. Endowed with all opulences. What is that which he can't accomplish? Anything. He can just kill Ravan with his desire. <laughs> just with his absorption. Killing Ravan, he can send any of his incarnations. What is a big deal? <laughs> but he himself expressing this incompleteness and giving this same opportunity to his associates. And when they are serving, Chanting Ram, 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 throwing stones, and stones are floating. When they're serving Ram, Hanuman is serving Ram, what are they getting? 
happiness, bliss. In seeing my devotees, my associates getting bliss, what they get? Bliss. Satchitananda. So bliss comes back to them. That becomes them more complete bliss, more complete, more complete. Similarly, this is the nature of Acharya's nature of Sri Guru, Sri Guru Dev. We sing every morning. Brahmanda Tari Te Shakti Dhare Jane Jane Eveda Purane Guna Gai Je Basune Brahmanda Tari Te Shakti They can deliver the whole universe. Because they are complete. They are not incomplete. Gurudev is complete. In all realization, in all shastras, in all words, everything. But expressing what? Oh, <clears throat> I cannot do this. Can you go and do this? You do publication. You assist in, you assist in publication. You go and preach there. You do this, you do that. And then later on, he gives credits to his sevakas, his devotees, his disciples. Oh, because of you, I accomplished preaching. Oh, because of you, I was able to do publication. Don't get bewildered with these words. <laughs> Don't get bewildered. And we start thinking, oh, yes. <laughs> I work day and night. <laughs> Whose potency was working when they were making a bridge on the ocean? That's another point. Sri Ram was giving his own potency in them. Sri Guru is infusing his potency to accomplish something. And what we get in return? By serving Sri Guru means by serving Krishna. We get benefited out of it. We get benefit. And this is what he wants. So he wants to give credits. This is called open heart and broad vision. It's not like us. We are human nature. You know, don't take it otherwise. Oh, I can cook for this evening program. Prabhu, better you can then cook. You come and cook because I don't want to cook. <laughs> and that's totally different. <laughs> oh, Prabhu, you have to start singing 5 o'clock. Yes, I'm singing. Oh, someone else come. Okay, I'm giving this credit to you. You sing. Because I want to go and sleep. That's different. But Gurudev, Acharyas, their vision is very broad and very open heart. Always wants to give credit to his disciples. That's the nature of Guru Tattva. We have to keep this, all these headings, some headings, an introduction in the head before we <clears throat> hear the glories or the past times of Sri Guru. Because these are the foundation. If foundation is not strong, it's weak, we can't build the palace of the glories of Guru on that foundation. This foundation has to be strong to know why he does this, why he was doing this, why he was instructing this. And why he was saying this? This has to be very clear in the, uh, in the mind of a disciple. Otherwise, very easy to commit offense. Oh, he's ordinary human being like us. Yeah, it's just more knowledgeable, little realization. He did so much sadhan. I cannot do this, but if I could have done, I also could have been on the stage of Guru. Very careful. Vandamui Savadhana Mati. Very careful with this point. Once we get initiation, what is initiation? How we how we define initiation? <clears throat> Diksha Kale Bhakta Kore Atma Samarpan. Se kale krishna kare tar atmasam. 
Shastra says, Diksha Kale. At the time of Diksha, a devotee surrendered oneself to Guru. In the same Kale, in the same moment, Krishna Atma Sam embraces the devotee. Our initiation is done. Years back, we received mantras. But where is that Atma Sam? Karamore Atma Sam? Where is that oneness with the qualities of Krishna or oneness with the qualities of Guru? So that means initiation is not finished yet. We have, that is called Mancharatri Diksha. We receive the mantras. Of course, that's the process. But that is not completion of initiation. The completion of initiation comes when one gets Surup Siddhi and Vastu Siddhi. Understand? What is Surup Siddhi? To see one's Surup. And Vastu Siddhi is when that form, spiritual form, will activate. Means activation in the service of Radha Krishna. That's the point when one gets completion of diksha. That moment. You know, so Guru Dev said in lecture. That's why we have to okay. For all of us, how we came to know about this terminology. Everyone knows this. Adoshadha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajan Kriya. Anathnamitti, Mishta, Ruchi, Sakti, Bhav. How we learn this? Only by hearing from Gurudev again and again and again and again and again telling this. We never learned or heard this before. Srila Gurudev introduced this. <coughs> Vishnu Chakur Thakur. He introduced, he initiated Vishnu Chakur Thakur. He initiated Rupa Goswami. He initiated Jiv Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. Not only giving mantras initiation, but he initiated the literature, the, uh, the versions, the commentaries sorry, of these acharyas in our life. That's initiation. I, I can say about myself, I've never ever heard or learned anywhere. Just hearing from Gurudev again and again. That was the first lecture I heard of Shri Gurudev, 1992, something. And I was so attracted by hearing, I never ever heard this. Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajan Kriya. Then Gurudev was describing each and every stage. Adho Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajan Kriya, Anath Nivritti. Vishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, Prem, and then after Prem, Sne, Man, Prane, Rag, Anurag. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Can we describe? We just learned like a parrot. <laughs> Repeating like a parrot. Only by hearing because that was favorite subject of Srila Gurudev speaking. Everywhere. The only difference is when he was in Hindu temples in Delhi, he used to only touch those points, but when he's with the devotees in Mathura and Vrindavan, then he was elaborating on those uh, topics. That is Shraddha and Sadhu and all. Just by hearing from him, constantly, we learn the stages of bhakti. This is called completion of initiation. The learning process is complete. Not just by receiving mantra, initiation is complete. But when we achieve that Atma Sat. So I'm speaking this, I'm saying this, doesn't mean I have any mercy or I'm Atma Sat with Gurudev. We are just uh, speaking the glories of Sri Guru. I want, I also want this. I yearn for this. I beg for this. We pray for this. 
And that's why when we chant mantras every day, prachodayat, that has to be in the hand. Arise in my heart. Or something else comes in the heart, something else arises in the heart. Instead of Guru Prachodayat. <laughs> then how is possible to complete the initiation? Or I can say, valuing that uh, gift he has given to us. By chanting the mantras he mercifully gave to us and took us from that level from very degraded level to the level of human and from the human to the level of Vaishnava and Vaishnavis. It's not less. Something high. Something so important happened in our life. And Srila Gurudev, these statements, if anyone start bhakti, he took initiation or she took initiation and gives up. Next day, Oh, I have no interest. Guru say, what is harm? No harm. This one day of chanting mantra, or one day of chanting Maha Mantra, going to help him or her for the next life. And, Guru further said, his statements, if anyone comes to this understanding that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, even to that point, don't take this easy going. It is something very important happen in your life. You come to this thing. Understanding that Krishna is the Supreme Lord in everything emanates from Krishna. And what to speak of that, he, he went so high describing that Krishna is served by four important rasas in Braj. <coughs> Even though my practice is very limited and not pure. But Gurudev said, you have heard, you all have heard all these topics of grudge, pain, the topics of Mahaprabhu. It's not less. It's not less. Something big happened in the life. And this is going to help for the next life. So this, that doesn't mean I have to become lazy today that oh, something very important happened and now it's <laughs> over. So don't take advice. Hana. Was, but just <clears throat> treasure that <clears throat> love, treasure that sacrifice. That's again a big topic. I'm going to touch this uh, tomorrow in the afternoon. So there are so many prospects we can see Shri Guru and our Shri Guru they very special, very special and very special. Very special personality. So warm and personal with each and every individual. That's the quality of Shri Guru Everyone knows yes. Every individual he has personal interaction. And everyone feels like, you know, we hear uh, past time Krishna is having Pulin Bhajan on the bank of Jamuna with all his friends and they're sitting in circle. And Krishna in the middle of the circle and then eating. But all suckers are seeing and watching Krishna is looking at him. Even those who are sitting in the back, they see Krishna is looking at him. How is possible? Inconceivable. Similarly, even if it is Brahmachari, Sanyasi, Grastha, Vanprastha, small children, whoever it is, even a taxi driver, I have also experienced of this. Everyone feels, oh, Gurudev is giving me importance. He's making me so important. And he gives, he's giving so much importance to me. He's giving so much love to me. Making me so important. They, this feel. And everyone's witness of this, right? The field comes, yes, I'm important. 
Whereas if we see our position, that's his greatness. He's making us feel important, but what is our position, my position? So abominable. So insignificant. <clears throat> but that is greatness. He's just taking us from that low level and is embracing us. Who can be more generous than him? <coughs> Embracing us, giving chance again, again, and again. I personally witnessed this. <coughs> A brahmacharya, you or anyone, doing mistakes again, again. I'm very, you know, worse mistakes. Good they used to chastise, sometimes slap pulling ears and sometimes kicking. I saw. <laughs> a very special Mahaprasad. <laughs> <clears throat> and then, just in like some hours, forgiving. Forgiving. And devotees used to come and complain, Gurudev, we, this happened 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. The same complaints about him. Gurudev said, I'm witness of this. Where he will go? You want me to just kick him out from the mud? Where will he go? After so many jivas, just one came to came to mud. But he has some very bad some scars from his previous life. And he's struggling with that. I'm chastising, I'm slapping, I'm correcting, also loving, also affection, all together. But I can't, I can't just tell him to go away, to leave me. Where will he go? Again, I will throw him back to Maya. That, I can't do that. I can't see. Back to Maya. With so much difficulty, he came from Maya to check on him, on correct him, I can't send him away. This other quality of Gurudev, always forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. Tolerating so much, can you imagine? Like we can understand how a mother is. They are so tolerant. They tolerate so much. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> but Guru Dev is affection like thousands of mothers. <clears throat> thousands of mothers. I personally saw this. Even though sometimes so harsh, he said, Go away from here. I don't want to see your face. I don't want to see your face. Go away. How many times I have to tolerate this? Then 